We end the show every week with shag bag, couple items, fast topic items to get going, to, to send you on your way out, to send us on our, our way out. The first one, sort of a sad story that turned out to be okay. Billy Hur Hurley III, his father was missing early in the week. He, he made this impassioned plea to media outlets to help find his father. His father was found, but kind of a weird eerie, sad. Very bizarre. Look, we week. still don't really know all the details, but it's really impressive what Billy Hurley was able to do. He had that emotional news conference on Tuesday, and then he, he plays okay on Thursday. And then Friday, while he's playing his round, he finds out that his father has been located, he's perfectly yeah. safe, and then he grinds to make the cut with all of that going on, swirling in his head. It really speaks to his grit and his persistence and a lot of his focus. All right, moving on, Zach Johnson. He posted on Twitter this picture of him eating corn on the cob out of the claret jug. And a lot of Scots took exception to this. They called it crass, they called it not very classy. They said he was being a redneck and somewhat of a jackass. Jay, are you okay with this? I, I'm okay with it. Look, do you, are you telling me that worse things haven't been done to that jug than, than sticking an end of corn in it? Rory drank Jägermeister. Jägermeister is, as, as is what disgusting. I, Why it, would you it, drink it? It is disgusting, but it's worse I, than the corn I, I, I feel very confident in saying that Zach Johnson will do nothing to the claret jug over the next year. <laughs> that could be worse than anything that has already been done to Absolutely. it. All right, the, la the last one. Ricky Fowler buys beer for the media for an ace at the Quicken Loans. Here we see it right here. It's not a mortgage for a year, but enjoy a cold one on me. Not just Atta beer, boy. Jay. Bud Lights and Miller Lights. Cheap, watery beer. That's the <laughs> perfect way to get in sports writers' good graces. Good for Ricky Fowler. Hope he makes some more aces soon. <laughs> and all right, that's the last one of the shag bag. But, we, but we, before we go, proud dad moment here. Pat on the back to eight-year-old Brady Coffin, who made his first par last week on vacation at Hilton Head. Let's take a look real quick. Yeah! Woo-hoo! Baby! Hi! Bye! High five! Yo! Yeah. Brady Coffin, attaboy, had had many a, many a bogey in his life. He's only been playing for about three years. A, a side note, too, his old man made bogey on that hole that he made par of, and then he followed that up with a bogey on a par five the next week. Great, great week up there at Hill. Brady Coffin is now one-third of the way towards Dad's career par total. So, <laughs> way to go, Brady. You're on the right track, buddy.